What's up, divas? What's up, divos? That's right. It's time for. Are you serious? He's about to die. The battery's about to die. Okay, listen. It's time for another real talk video. But we're gonna change this battery real quick, and then I'm gonna just do this all over again. <sighs> All right, you guys, why am I so happy? Yes, a bitch lost over 11 pounds in two weeks. So what's up, divas? What's up, divas? Your girl's back with another Real Talk video. 11.8 pounds lighter, okay? Yes. I didn't think it was going to be possible, but I really actually did this. So, yeah, I'm just really happy and excited. And in celebration, we're going to be drinking some of this fresh water for the video. What's up, you guys? So, first of all, let's just say this. I'm overly happy, just dumb happy, okay? I really, like, you know what? The first thing that I'm gonna do is get rid of this fucking scale that I have. Scales, okay? I have two scales in my bathroom, on the bathroom floor here. I have two. I have a digital one, and I have the old school dial one, whatever you want to call that. I have two, and neither one of them work for shits, okay? The digital one, fresh batteries, I have to get on that thing like four to five times. It'll tell me like on a good day, on a good day, like it'll say, you 209 today. And then I'll be like, yes, bitch, yes. And then I'll get back on that shit. Or no, better yet, it'll say, you 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 195. And I'll be like, what? Yes, bitch, yes. And I'll get back on it and be like, thank you, mama. You are 215. And then I'll be like, word. And then I'll get back on and it'll be like, oh, I was just fucking with you. You actually 210. And I'll be like, okay, I'll take that. And then I'll get back on and it'll be like, nope. <laughs> Like you again. So listen, if it says the same number three times in a row, then I know it's the truth. So when I got on this morning, it said 214 even. I got on that shit like seven times in a row, okay? I was determined. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna go to the weight doctor today. I am 214. Two weeks ago, today, which is actually Monday, I'm doing this video. So I went on June 14th to the weight doctor. Today is June 28th. So when I went to the weight doctor, I was 223. So I was determined today to just get the less weight than possible. Like, you know, I didn't want anything weighing me down. So I didn't go with no wig on. I just went with my own natural hair, corn rolled up and my baseball cap, okay? And I was so determined I went with this sports bra on, okay, and some of my biking shorts right here, but I also had on a white jacket over it, because my little fupa area, I'm not really too secure with, so I'm really not trying to go outside with, like, my belly out. I'm, I'm just, I'm just not, I'm, not only am I not secure with, I know I just kind of hold myself a little bit, I just want to be ladylike. So, when I get there, you know, I'm sitting in the waiting area, and I'm waiting, and she, Call me in. It's my time to go in. Girl, you know, I took the hat off. I took the flip-flops off, and I unzipped the jacket. If I could have took the shirt off, and if I could have got butt naked in there, girl, I would have got butt naked, okay? So when I turned around to her, I said, oh, excuse me. You know, I'm just making sure that nothing weighs me down because I did try on three outfits prior to going to the weight loss doctor this morning. When I say three outfits, meaning... I got on the scale with each one of them to see how much it made me weigh. And this one right here was the final decision because it stayed at 214. So I was like, okay, I'm going to, I'm going to wear this. So when I get there, you know, I get on the scale and she's like telling me, oh girl, please. Some people are getting barely damn near naked in here. And I'm like, for real? You shouldn't have told me that because I'm about to pull my pants down. However, I only had on a pair of thong underwears. I even didn't even want to wear regular panties because I just wanted the less weight. I should have not worn none. But listen, I do like to wear underwear. So when I got on, I know for next week, or not next week, but two weeks from now, I will be going in. Well, I'm just going to wear the same outfit. Fuck it, okay? I'm just going to wear the same outfit. When I got on Nair scale, which is a medical scale, you know, it reads your metabolism and all of this stuff. <laughs> Fuja, the scale here really tried to play a girl. I was actually, I'm about to show you guys. I was so happy. I was about to start crying in the damn weight loss room. I was two, I was 212.8 pounds. Yes, 212.8 pounds. So here it said 214. Girl, I was like, what? Yes, huh? I was in the weight loss room like, yes, girl, yes. I was dumb happy, okay? And she even said to me, she was like, you're doing real good. I ain't seen nobody lose 11 pounds in a month, and you did it in two weeks. 
What have you been doing? I've been exercising my ass off. Not really, though. You know, I, I work out 20 minutes in the morning, okay? And sometimes in the evening, okay? I can't say every single night I work out, but every single morning, I'm downstairs in that living room with one of these YouTubers, um, Grow With Joe, doing the same exercise over and over. However, I did incorporate some of her new, um, her other exercises, which is the butt lift one. So I've been doing a little bit extra. And girl, Tonight, I'm about to get really busy. I have me, uh, and I've been eating a little bit more healthier. Like, I have breakfast now. A girl be making omelets in the morning with um, eggs and cheese and shredded chicken and spinach and pico de gallo. Like, yes, two omelets, and I'm full. And then, you know, I have, like, I drink, like, a lot of water throughout the day. But a bitch lost 11 pounds in two weeks. Mmm. Cheers to me, okay? However, it also, you know, they do give you, like, supplements at the weight loss doctor to help you burn the fat, burn or sweat more, which is um, burn, fat burner. But here's the trick to that. Because when I lost all the weight, like, a couple of years ago, I was going to the weight loss doctor, but I was also exercising, too, like I'm doing now. I used to go for walks every single morning, but it's been so damn hot that I ain't been outside. I did go, though, last week twice for a walk, or was it three times, but then I also came home and worked out, too. So if I get up extra early, then I can make it, but tonight, I think I'm going to go outside tonight and go for a walk. Screw the workout. I'm just going to go for a long two-mile walk once the sun goes down, But let me, and I got some mace or so pepper spray, so if anybody want to try to fuck with me on this walk path, then I will get you, okay? Don't let me have to shank a motherfucker on the walk path while I'm walking. Not me. Well, I'm determined to look like my best. Not a hot girl summer because it's always fucking summer here. Congratulate your girl in the comments section, okay? But also today, what else did I do? I uploaded a Dollar Tree video um, that I did, you know, shop with me. So y'all make sure to go watch that shit, okay? Hello. Most of the day, like, while I was at the weight doctor, as I was driving on the way home, I was watching one of my favorite reactors. Now, listen, I try to stay away from a lot of the toxic shit because some of it can be a little bit overbearing. But when you have someone that you could really watch who's classy, who's well-spoken, well-educated, a lady-like, lady-like, you know what I'm saying? Then when she's spilling the tea, it's not really so bad. You know what I'm saying? It's a nice sipping warm tea. You know what I'm saying? You're not going to scold your mouth. When you hear from her, you're not like, but you still like, oh my God. But you know what I'm saying? She do it with class. So I love watching my girl, Love Lies and Lace Fronts, Fran. So if you watching Fran or if you guys don't know who Fran is, make sure you check her channel out. I love her YouTube channel. She be spilling all the tea, but she does it in such a nice, classy way, okay? And that's the way you're supposed to do it. When you want to talk about somebody, don't be ratchet, you know what I'm saying? Do it in a nice, sophisticated way. But she does definitely deserve way more subscribers than what she has. So, you know what I'm saying? Go over there and check her channel out. And if you do stumble across one of her videos because she goes live, she does also up, she just likes some really good YouTube videos, make sure you put hashtag muffin sent me in the, in the comments because I want her to have way more subscribers than she does have now. She's so worth it. Like, I love Fran. She does like really great videos. Plus, she's from the East Coast, New Jersey. I'm from New York, so you, we have to support our people, okay? But I do love her channel, so I was on her live this morning watching, and she been talking some real, really good, you know, topics. Plus, I like how she goes about gossiping about some of the YouTubers here on these YouTube streets. You know what I'm saying? I'm not really sure if you guys watch a lot of these other YouTube channels, like, um, what's it, Lives Life, Olivia Lives Life. You know what I'm saying? She was part of that Mommy on the game. You know, I really don't like to talk about people, but I'm gonna just say this. I really did like her videos, like, a couple years back. And, I mean, you know I'm saying? Because I did subscribe to her, so I had to like you in order to subscribe to you. But the way, you know what? regardless of what you want to do behind closed doors, honey, you always need to be a lady about shit. And that's just, that's how I feel about it. Like there's, you don't have to put all your business out there on public. You don't have to put all your business on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? If that's what you want to do on any type of social media, then that's your business. But you know, just remember that you, when you have children, just remember and just think about them. And that's all I'm going to leave it at. I'm going to just leave it at that and just be a little bit classy, okay? So you guys already know what it do, boo. We're going to get into this video. Of course, it's going to be a promo in this video. One of my favorite spots in the whole wide world, girl. 
Mm. Well, you can get some of these really cute lashes that I have on today, which is by Shop Miss A. And I'll see you guys after this. Mm. Yeah. Your eyes tell me that you don't want to leave just yet. No, my eyes agree. It's almost like when we first met. Oh, I don't care. It's getting too late. I want you and I can't wait. Don't want to spend a minute without you. I know you feel the same. So come on, give me love. I'ma show you how to move, how to move with my body Come hit me with your touch and make me wanna say Damn. And yeah, you know what's up Ain't nothing I won't do, I won't do for your body So give me all you got right now I know I'm yours, baby So come give me You, my legs go weak, hey. can you hear it? I think my heart just skipped a beat, hey. This feeling is getting so strong Love me till the morning, love me all night long There's something special about you You're the one that I want So come on, give me love I'ma show you how to move, how to move with my body Come hit me with your touch And make me wanna say So give me all you got right now I know I'm yours, baby So come give me love You know you're my baby So come give me love I never felt nothing quite like this I get a high every time we kiss Can't get enough, baby So come give me love All of your love Won't you love me too? So, for you guys who just joined this channel and just subscribe, then listen, make sure, or just watch and you ain't subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell, so that way every time I upload a video, you will be the first to know and you can go and watch it. Let's get these likes up, these comments up. You know, I think like my Real Talk videos are the best videos of the week, of every week. They get the most views and I love the interaction that everybody gives in the comment section. Though I'm not commenting back to you guys in the comment section, that's because I've already spoken my piece, but I like to what you guys have to say so that way the person who's wrote me or e emailed me has written me in they'll be able to read what you wrote because they already heard what the fuck i have to say so let's get these likes up let's get these comments going and make sure you guys check out my other videos because i have so much more to offer than just a potty mouth and talking shit you know i do diys i like to shop i do makeup i do hair my specialty is wigs like I got a wig on now, but girl, it ain't even glued down. That's why I got the hat one, okay? Mm. But if you have a real talk issue you would like to share with everybody, you can go ahead and send me an email to muffinismylovers2012 at gmail.com or aprilsrealtalk at gmail.com and put in the subject line, real talk, and just let me know what's popping and what's going on. Let's get into this real talk. Huh? 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 What? Damn. 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 Yeah, it's been titled already, and that's on period. Hmm. Hey, April. Hey, girl. How you doing in my Wendy Williams voice? So I thought I would send in a real talk because I have a real problem with someone. This person happens to be a close relative of mine. Okay, first you can call me Alicia, and the person I'm talking about, you can call her Shonda. So Shonda and I are close relatives, so close you might want to say like sisters. We are a couple years apart, but we have been tight as hell since we came out the womb. We would party like crazy, hang out with our crazy friends, shop, double date, you name it, girl. We did everything, period. 
She said that, not me. Now, Shonda went to college a few states away, and myself, I started going to community college in our hood. April, Shonda would come visit every chance she got, but she started acting real different, you know, real brand new. When she came back home for good, she then got a job working in the hospital because she wanted to go back to school for the medical field, so she felt it was best to get a job in a hospital. Yeah, I feel that. Anyway, we are both in our very late 20s. We don't hang out with one another like we used to, but do see each other occasionally. I understand as we both have bills to pay, jobs to work. I work at a local bank. So anyway, Shonda been acting brand new, I noticed. She invited me out with a few of her friends from college who came to visit her for a weekend, and they are all... And they all were in a sorority together. Her entire attitude was different. I took it like she felt like she was better than me. The way she speaks is different, like all proper. And everyone she hangs with is somewhat the same. I'm getting these bougie vibes from her. Okay, we've got some bougie vibes going on here. Like whenever we do speak and I pronounce something incorrect or use slang terms, she looks at me like I have two heads and tells me that I should not carry myself in that manner. Like I get it, we are grown and shit, but dang, don't act like you better than me or anyone else because you pledge a sorority. The night we went out with her friends, it seemed like her one friend had a better time hanging with me than she did. She's always telling me I act too ratchet and to act my age, but I'm not sure what she's meaning. Yeah, I'm from the hood, and yeah, I like to use slang, and she doesn't, but what makes her better than me? I'm starting to feel like we need to keep our distance. Is it true what they say, people grow apart, or is she acting bougie, or am I bugging out and need to grow up? I love Shonda to death, but the disrespect is really starting to make me feel some type of way, and it ain't in no good way. I know you will let me know facts, Thanks, April. You're truly a gem, and I admire your knowledge and wisdom. And I thought I could ask you, since you have kids of your own, Alicia. She said they in their late 20s, so I'm thinking maybe like 29, because mid-20s is like 25, so late 20s is probably like you about to be 30, girl, okay? So we got Shonda and Alicia. Alicia's the one who wrote me in about her cousin Shonda, or I'm thinking like they like cousins because, right? They're not sisters because they went... I don't know. I'm thinking they like cousins. They have to be cousins, right? Or even are they even related? But she did say close relative. I don't know. E- either way, okay. So she wrote me in. We just gonna call her cousins. But she wrote me in about her cousin Shonda, and Alicia's kind of like on some Shonda acting brand new. You know, she, ever since she went to the college, away to college, and you know she pledged sorority. She didn't came back on some bougie type shit. She don't, you know, she don't speak the slang no more. She trying to, you know, tell me how to speak, how to talk, how to be ladylike. You know, stop acting ratchet, act our age. You know, so basically, Alicia feels like because. Shonda is not speaking slang and telling her, yo, you need to be a little bit, you know, more ladylike and and stuff. She feel like Shonda's brand new. But we got Alicia who's like, I'm from the hood, so I like to use slang. And, you know, I like to pop my tongue when I talk. Okay, and I like to talk with my nails, okay, and just roll my eyes and whatever. She didn't say that, but I'm just saying. I'm just saying that. But, so we got two different people here. Now, they used to be tight like glue, tight from out the womb. They would hang together. They'd go shopping together, double date, go to go to lunch, hang with their friends, go out to the clubs, whatever. They did everything together. So they was like sisters. Damn, they're best friends. I wonder if we are best friends or what. I'm not really sure, but each one of them went to college. However, Shonda went away to college a few states away and Alicia stayed here in her hood and went to college you know community college nothing wrong with that as long as you you know continue your education get you a good job girl you doing the damn thing I wouldn't care what kind of job you got as long as you can take care of yourself okay that's the bottom line but when Shonda would come back to visit she said she would come back as much as possible to visit and then she started noticing the change like she's acting a little little bit different she's acting brand new she's starting to get these bougie vibes from her she invited her out to hang out with her sorority sisters and one of the sorority sisters had a better time with Alicia than Shonda did you know you know so she's starting to feel like should she I don't you know what What, what's the problem like there comes a time in everybody's life like you know it's cool like we we grew up in the hood and the projects like I grew up in the projects from Queens, New York City. I grew up in the projects, okay? I'm a project kid. Whatever. It is what it is. 
But just because we grown up in the hood and we might have grown up in an environment that might not be like, let's see, safe or maybe the environment is just totally different, okay? It's just totally different from what other people have grown up in. Just because we've grown up in an era or an environment that's a little bit not so subtle or just so well educated doesn't mean that we have to act as such. You know what I'm saying? Not only that, but I just, let's just say this. There comes a time and a place when each person do need to grow up. We all do need to grow up. And yes, I think like you should act ladylike. Act your age, act ladylike. Don't go around being ratchet. And I don't really know what ratchet is, but I do know what ratchet is. Like I'll say this, like I cannot stand to hear people constantly say, and not even people because I ain't never seen a male, a male person, a man, ever say that's on period i cannot stand that like i get it you guys want to say it? it's trending i get that it was trending like the word facts that word would drive me crazy facts boo facts like okay i get that you know sometimes i might slip up too and be like that's period period because you do have that moment but when a female constantly uses it after every sentence or every other freaking sentence it's like you know what you need to just really get a vocabulary because is that all you know is the word period or how about this one because i've heard this one as well i've heard this on the bad girls club or you know these little uh, love and hip-hop shows and that's on Mary had a little lamb period so we're doing nursery rhymes now like who the fuck sits up here like you want somebody to agree with you or is that the what the fuck does the word period mean anyway except for adopt you know what I'm saying like after a sentence like what is the fuck what period like period like that's it that's what I mean that's the end of it okay so what the hell does and that's on Mary had a little lamb yes bitch we know Mary had a little lamb okay oh, that's on cookie had a cookie monster or that's on cookie monster had a cookie uh Kermit had on um, Miss Piggy like what the fuck what else are we gonna come up and say and that's on Mercedes had a Benz bitch like let me not say these hashtags too much because somebody might take that shit and just roll with it okay but I'm just saying like some of the shit that comes out of some females' mouths, you just be like, Girl, chill out. Like, do you have a better vocabulary than what you have been using? My mom died, period, but I went to her funeral, period. And I got me some new shoes last week, bitch. They Gucci, period. And that's why Mary had a little lamb and Cookie Monster had a cookie. Mercedes had a band, period. Bitch, what? You be looking like, girl, does your vocabulary expand? Okay, so I can understand what Shonda might be saying to Alicia. However, Alicia, just because somebody has changed and they have grown, because that's the key word, grown, don't mean they're brand new. Does not mean that that person is brand new. Does not mean that that person is bougie, okay? That means that they have grown as a person. They have expanded their vocabulary. They have expanded their mind. They have expanded their adulthood. They have become adults. They have become grown-ups. They have become themselves. They have grown into an adult. There's a time and place for everything. Like, seriously, I feel like there is a time and a place for every single thing, okay? And that's on period. Sometimes it hurts to see our young black women act so uneducated or ungrown. Sometimes that hurts. And I, I listen, I'm not going to say I'm the best person in the world, but we have all been there, okay? And so that is me at my age to school, you that are younger than me, or just to put my opinions out there. But sometimes, you know, it just, it's, it's, it kind of, it's a bothersome. It bothers me to see like young girls in the street acting so uneducated, unbothered, you know what I'm saying? Unladylike, like girl, when you look back at yourself 10 years from now, you gonna wish that you didn't act like that on social media, out in public. You know, I see these young girls that, you know, they young, they might be like 17, 18, eight in the street. Some of their mouths be worse than dudes. Some of these young girls mouths be so bad, they worse than, a young boy's mouth like you'd be amazed and I'm pretty sure you guys have heard these young girls they have no respect for themselves so why would they have respect for anybody else but I have heard them cussing up a storm in the grocery store like y'all really talk like that and like I'm not saying I was the best teenager I've never walked around with a nasty mouth like that though the things that they say is just like 
wow, I didn't know that these young people spoke like that. Let me catch one of my kids talking like that, and I'm going to have to rip your damn tongue out and wrap it around your throat. You know what I'm saying? So there comes a time and a place for everything. And you, you, you're out there working in the work field and the workforce. You, you, you know what I'm saying? You have come across people of different ethnic groups, different backgrounds, because you're working out there in the work world. You're in college. So when you get around these people, some of their you know, their lifestyles and some of them as a person rub off on you. And not even rub off on you, but you see like there are other things in life besides acting crazy and wild and unladylike. Not saying you can't have fun because hey, listen, you got one life, live it up. But there does come a time and a place. And when you're a woman, some people look at you as she's so ratchet, you know what I'm saying? Or she real ghetto. And me personally, I hate to look at any woman like that, especially women of color, you know what I mean? Because we supposed to uplift each other. Even if we ain't even in the same race and ethnic group background, I just feel like we need to uplift each other. So Alicia, you might be bugging out a little bit. You might be tripping, you know what I'm saying? Because your friend, your cousin, whatever you want to call Shana to you, she has grown. She has grown and elevated her mind and herself. So don't feel like she on some bougie status. Bougie bitches is totally different than trying to tell you to act your age and calm down and let's not act ratchet. Sometimes that ratchet shit could be really embarrassing out in public. I know me and I don't like being embarrassed in public. I don't like people staring at me. I don't like people on looking me. I don't like people splashing cameras at me. I don't like people like, oh, did you see that at me? I don't like, I just want to be like, like I want to vanish in the crowd. I don't want anybody like staring me down because I'm with somebody that's ratchet and loud and obnoxious. That shit is embarrassing. Listen, I'm not for the embarrassment. You're not about to have me out in public looking stupid because you want to act crazy and ratchet. Now, yes, a bitch like me, I will pop off in public. However, there's a time and place for everything. And if you threaten me and threaten my life, then I'm definitely going to come for you in public. I don't care where we're at. But I'm not trying to be loud and obnoxious and bring attention to myself just to be loud and obnoxious, just to bring attention to myself. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, there's a time and a place for everything. We grow you know? up and we look back on our past and we just be like, dang, I know I have, okay? Because I've done some dumb shit in my past too, all right? Dumb shit, all right? But ratchet, I never really was ratchet. Never was ratchet. I don't really use too many slang words as it is. My mother didn't play those games anyway in my house. She did not play that shit. I had to speak proper English. If She'd be the first to correct me. I Listen, my mother made sure that I said the word ask right. Because I'd be like, yeah, let me ask you something. Like, ask. Like, I'm about to ask your head off. No, it's ask. A-S-K. Ask. You, my mother will make sure to correct me and make sure that I spoke proper English. And, and there's a lot of people that be, you know, that meet me in the street. They be like, oh, where you from? Oh, I can hear you're in New York. And then there's some people that are like, I can tell you from New York, but you don't got that strong accent. Right. I don't. There's some things that I might pronounce because my mother didn't play that shit. You have to speak proper English. Okay proper fucking English. So I wasn't going around asking nobody for nothing, but I may ask you for a favor. Okay. So, you know, I have grown into a young lady now, an older woman. I ain't that old bitches though. Okay. But there is a time and a place for everything. And I don't think Shonda is trying to be bougie. I don't think she thinks that she's better than anyone, but she's grown and maybe she wants to instill that on you, Alicia. Maybe she's just trying to show you like, look girl, you can be ratchet, but we out in public now and we with my friends who may not be ratchet and may not have came from the same environment as me. So therefore, let's just settle it down a little bit and chill the fuck out. And I get that. You know what I'm saying? Like, sometimes when I would be like... Okay, so like, I did have quite a few friends here before I lost them. But, um, not really lost them, but I just stopped fucking with people after a while if I don't really like your vibe. So, I had a, a, a black friend. You know, the one that busts my windows. Um, around her, I just be black. I'm not even black, but I'm just myself, okay? Just cool, April. I'm just myself. Around my bestie, Rebecca, I'm just me. I'm just myself, too. I'm just just this person. I'm fun, loving, I craft, you know what I'm saying? I'm just me. But when, when I go somewhere else, I might be around a whole bunch of people that are not of my color stature. And, uh, hey, how are you? How are you? You know, I gotta be a little bit Sarah, a little bit Becky, okay? Never a Karen, but I gotta be, you know, I gotta chill and I gotta bring some of my little 
you know, colorism or whatever you want to call it down a little bit so they think, understand where I'm coming from, but never ratchet, okay? So sometimes you got to adapt to your environment. Sometimes you got to be Sarah. Sometimes you got to be Becky. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, I'm saying if you went to go get a job, you know what I'm saying? You went on, you going on a job um, interview and they're like, well, would you like the job? Yeah, period. I would like that job. And that's on everything. And that's on Mary had a little land and Mercedes had a Benz. Yes. Would you do that at a job interview? Like, no, you'd be like, yeah, oh, yes, I'm very interested in that. So you see what I'm saying? You got to switch it up a little bit. You got to adapt to your environment. So there's a time and place for everything. But I definitely don't think that Shonda is trying to be brand new. And I definitely don't think that she thinks she's better than anyone. It's just the fact that she has evolved. She's elevated her mind. She's grown as a person. And sometimes we as people take things a little bit too personal. You know what I'm saying? We take it as, oh, she thinks she better than me. Well, I'm not going to fuck with her no more. And that's on period. Period, bougie bitch. Don't take it so personal, Alicia. Shonda might have changed for the betterment of herself. Shonda might have changed because she around bougie bitches. Shonda might have changed because she's in a different environment. People adapt to the environment. They evolve. They elevate. They grow. They become a better them. And that's what I feel like we all should do. Become the better you. I know a bitch like me be trying to be the better person. I try to be a better person every day. Not saying that I am. Not saying that I will be. But I try to. And I might have. I'm not going to toot my own fucking horn. But I just try to to be a better person. You know what I'm saying? I don't I don't really try to judge people. <sighs> Girl, listen, I will talk about your ass if I feel like it, but here's the thing about me. If I talk about you, best believe I'll say that shit to your face too because I could give two fucks. I'm going to say it to your face because what you're going to do, beat me up? Okay, you might just beat me up. Who knows? I might just beat your ass. Either way, you know what I'm saying? I just try to be a better person. I don't really like to gossip too much about people because who am I to judge you? But I will say some shit about you. Like I try to be a better person on a daily basis and I try to improve myself each day. You know what I'm saying? Some days I don't even want to do shit. Some days I get up and I don't even want to do a damn thing. But you know what? I push myself to do something because I know myself and I need to be a better person. And I, I try not to take everything so personal about what someone might say about me or how they may feel about me. Because at the end of the day, how you might feel about me or say about me, girl, please, bye. If you don't really like me, oh, well, I don't care. If you don't want to fuck with me no more, guess what? I didn't want to fuck with you neither. If you can't stand me, don't like my YouTube channel, you can always unsubscribe. If you don't want to watch my YouTube videos, bitch, close your motherfucking eyes. Shit, if you feel like you can beat me up, then come and try me. I'm pretty sure you can. Either way, I just try to be a better person every single day. And I just feel like we all should try something new. Regardless, it might just be for the better man. So I know Shonda's not feeling probably like she's better than you, but she does have a point. Maybe you should act a little bit ladylike, just like you said, well, I'm from the hood. Just because you're from the hood, Alicia, don't mean like you gotta act that way neither. Does not mean that you have to carry yourself as a hood rat or whatever else they are called out there. You know what I'm saying? I don't really like the terminology of either one. You know what I'm saying? But doesn't mean that you have to carry yourself with no class. That's what we're gonna call it. Not hood rat or ratchet or I don't know, whatever, whatever else it's, it's called. But just because you're from an environment, because what's the hood? What is what is the hood? Okay, the hood. It's called. It's a short. It's slang for the neighborhood. Okay, neighborhood. That's what it really is short for. So your neighborhood is better than my neighborhood. Okay, so who says so? Big deal. Maybe I like to live where there's, um, you know, liquor stores on the corner, or maybe I like to live where there's parks on every corner, or you know, either way, the environment that you are brought up in does not mean that you have to bring the environment with you everywhere you go. So even even for like stuck up bougie bitches. Now listen, I'm gonna say this, okay? And then I'm gonna let y'all go. I don't really like stuck up bougie bitches. I, I just don't. Those are the bitches that I don't like. You know what? I don't like females that feel like they better than the next. Those are the type that I definitely don't just like. Just be happy for your friend, your cousin, whatever Shonda is to you. Be happy. Just don't take shit so personal. Maybe she's trying to spare you from embarrassing yourself. You ever think about that? Whatever she is, Shonda wants to see the best for you. Sometimes we do need someone to tell us, yo, chill. There's a time and a place for everything. Yo, chill. 
Act, a, act, act your age. Yo, chill. Act ladylike. Stop being ratchet. Sometimes people say things and it might not be the words that you want to hear. The words that they've chosen may not be right for your ears. But sometimes we can't sugarcoat everything, Sugarfoot. Because if we sugarcoat everything, then what's going to happen? You're still not going to get it. You're still not going to learn. You're still going to continue and carry on to be ratchet or whatever, a hood rat. And that's on period. Mary had a little lamb. You know what I'm saying? You're going to still continue on. So sometimes it's best for us to come out and be blunt. You know what I'm saying? How about this, Alicia? Would you rather your so-called Shonda, cousin, whatever. we're just going to call you her cousin. Would you rather your cousin who you so close with, Shonda, call you ratchet? Or would you rather some strange person in the street to call you ratchet? Which one would it bother you the most? Just take it as she's an elevator and maybe she wants you to be there with her. Because if she didn't care about you, I'm pretty sure that bitch wouldn't have said a goddamn thing. Okay? Period. So on that note, you guys, I love you all. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe. Leave your comments below. What do y'all think about the word period? Okay, because um, are you hearing it a bit too much? How about the one, like I said, and that's on Mary Had a Little Lamb. Like, who the fuck is going around saying that dumb shit? Like, you look real suspect, real stupid to be sitting out there. You having a full-blown, grown-up conversation with somebody. I, I, I could imagine I'm sitting with a female and she talking to me, yeah, girl, and that's on period. Mary Had a Little Lamb and that's on Mary Had a Little Lamb, period. I would probably be like, what? Yeah, Mary Had a Little Lamb, what about her? His fleece was white as snow. What the fuck? I mean, yeah, the word period is a cute word, but y'all will use it for anything. Let me give y'all a few examples. Oh my god, I just got pulled over. Oh my god, period queen, bitch, fuck the law. Bitch, oh my god, my dog just died. What am I gonna do? Oh my god, period, bitch, prr, like, oh my god, fuck that dog. Eh, put that bitch down. Girl, I just found out my mom has cancer. Oh my god, she's a cancer? I'm a Leo. <laughs> period queen. Like, okay, like, oh my god. Go, go, go.